Hello wrestling fans and how is everyone doing? Now I have some information on a brand new wrestling DVD it is coming out on May 28th. Now you may want to pick this up, you may not want to pick this up. Now I got this information on the WWE DVD news. You may know this news already from the official website on Facebook page. Twitter page or YouTube page but I like to make this kind of video before it get released in the United States so hopefully all my wrestling fans enjoy this video now if you want to give me some comments that would be great if not then that's okay or a video response it's up to you but here goes, enjoy this video once again. Okay, disc one, Andre the Giant, the Hall of Famer versus another Hall of Famer, Hulk Hogan. Now they have an awesome feud back in the day because, because they feud over the belt, the WF belt. But before that, they were awesome friends or decent friends. Okay, next one was The Game versus The Rock. Now, before they had a little feud, Triple H was part of The Generation X. Now, for The Rock, The Rock was part of The Nation, a uh, dumb nation. Of course, he bumped off Farouk, then he decided to be the leader and all that great stuff. Um, Triple H made fun of the nation and it was very very funny shit back in the day. And then when that's all said and done they fought over the IC belt then they fought over the WF belt and over and over. Great feud. I loved it. Magnifique. Both feuds I mentioned was awesome. Okay, next one was Edge and Christian, Hardy Boys versus the Dully Boys. Now they feud over the tag team belts back in the day, and it was fantastic. I'm just kidding about that part. So don't take me so damn seriously. I like to have fun on my channel. I'm trying to have fun. Okay, then they, um, it was awesome, baby. It was awesome. They met at Mania. They met a few times, you know. It was awesome. Awesome! Okay, Tommy Dreamer versus Raven. Now, I think this is the time Raven beat the crap out of Tommy Dreamer with his handcuff in a cage after their match. And they had an awesome feud. Now, I saw bits and pieces of it. Well, my friend let me borrow one of his DVDs and I fell in love with the feud and I'm happy it's on her. Okay, next one is Randy Orton versus Triple H. Now, these two guys are former members of Evolution. Of course, um, they fought over the bell and all that great jazz. And, um, you know, you guys will see the DVD when it comes out or Blu-ray if you want to pick it up. It's up to you. I'm not forcing you to pick it up. Okay, next one is, I cannot really pronounce it, but it's on disc one. Sorry, I don't want to feel like a fool, you know? <laughs> okay, next one is Kurt Angle versus Brock Lesnar. Now they have a hell of a feud. They met at Mania, they met at SummerSlam, they met at SmackDown. The only time they had a uh, Iron Man match on a um, regular program besides a pay-per-view and that's awesome I think you could see that match exclusive on of course on on the internet or you could get on um, on the blu-ray or I think that's on um, Netflix I'm not really too sure but I do have that match and it is freaking awesome you know the Iron Man match for the belt Okay, next one is The Undertaker versus Kane. Holy shit, great feud. They met a few times at Mania. Um, Kane cost Taker the belt back in the day when he first debuted. 
and um, I think bad blood and all good stuff took took the um, helm cell door off the hinges is awesome okay John Cena versus Edge now they had an awesome feud they met oh shoot a few times when Edge cashed his money bank after the Mission Chamber when John Cena won it then the next pay-per-view they met again at the Rumble then they met down the road at the TLC at Unforgiven so a lot of great feuds and plus um, John Cena threw Edge in that water in the river so that was awesome of course probably it's all icky um, Mick Foley of Triple H great feud the one I can remember Rumble 2000 and another one was No Way Out 2000 that was the end of Mick Foley that's what we think and it was awesome awesome baby and a lot more great feuds and of course Mick Foley was the commissioner of Raw one time okay Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Rock nothing really to say about this just teasing uh, they met so many freaking times at Mania, Backlash, Raw, Smackdown that's when Smackdown was freaking awesome okay um, they met for the for the belt you know the major belt I don't think they met for the icy belt I'm not really too sure if so let me know down there okay Shawn Michaels versus Bret Hart the only Iron Man match in WrestleMania history I think and that was freaking excellent I think that was the first time that Shawn Michaels won the WF title ever in his history you know very first time and that was awesome I love the build up CM Punk versus John Cena holy shit awesome now I remember hopefully it's on her um, Money Bank 2011 I, I was attended that match and that place was electrifying at the Allstate Arena and we all know what happened after that. Okay, Mankind versus The Undertaker. The only one I could think of off my top of my head when Taker threw off Mankind off the top of the cage. Hell in a Cell, King Ray 98. Great moment. It's always on YouTube and all that great jazz. Okay, Rick Flair versus Ricky Steamboat. Now they had an awesome feud. I don't really recall. I can't, I, can't, I can't really remember because too many decades ago. So I gotta re relive history. But uh, I, I guarantee that Ric Flair and Steamboat put on a great performance. Okay, Hulk Hogan versus Piper. Now they had a great few in WCW days. Not too sure they met in the F days. I don't know. Not really too sure. Okay, Van Eric versus the Fabulous Freebirds. Now that is way before my time. I know I I sound young and I look young and I look good in front of ladies out there. Just kidding out there. Um I don't know that I think that's a good match. Okay, Steve Austin versus McMahon. We all know about that match. Stone Cold Steve Austin put a moho in McMahon plus the hustle incident that's awesome hopefully they put on her um, Dusty uh, Rose versus Ric Flair great feud I think they met at the NWA belt okay Shawn Michaels the Undertaker great feud awesome two times at Mania um, back in the uh, in your house peer review and so on um, who else Taz for Sabu I think that's the time that's Taz suplex Sabu broke his freaking neck. I think that's the two guys. I'm not really too sure. Please let me know if I got that correct or not. Now this guys I cannot really pronounce. Magnum T A versus Blanchard, I think. And I think WCW days. Okay, Van Eric. Wait, sorry. I cannot really pronounce it. Nick Bonwico, I think. I got that one right. That's back in the day, so I got that one toy, probably Botch Mania. Okay, Ray Mister versus um, Eddie Guerrero. They had an awesome feud. I remember that one time when uh, Ray Mysterio's son was part of it at SummerSlam 05. Ladder, ma ladder match for the contract for his son and other great stuff. Um, WrestleMania. And they met for the 
Cruiseway Bell, they were tag team partners and all that stuff, okay? Now, there's a spoiler inside about the whole listing. I'm not gonna show you that. If you wanna check it out, go on the website. Okay, this too, I'm gonna make this short and sweet. Hopefully, I could do this real quick. Okay, the WWE Championship match, Hogan versus Riley Piper, the war to settle the score. February 18th, 85, I quit steel cage match for the NWA United States Championship match. Um, TJ, I forgot his first name earlier, so Botchamania. Uh, okay, uh, Star Cage, November 28th, 85. Man, they have some old school matches. Holy shit, cannot wait to watch them. Um, okay, I'll just say World Classic Championship Wrestling Match, July 87. Sorry, I just cannot really pronounce these wrestlers. Okay, Backstreet R R Rules Match. Um, Kevin and Kerry Von Erich versus Terry Gorin and Bobby Rogers. I think I did one right. World Classic Championship Wrestling, February 88. Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, Randy Savage, rest in peace. The, the Mega Power versus the Mega Bucks. I think I, I think that's the name of it. Yeah, my um sorry, Mega Man and Andre the Giant. SummerSlam, August 29th, 88. I have it on that. Um, SummerSlam box set. Okay, Undertaker versus Mankind, King of the Ring, June 23rd, 98, Scratch at 96, Bachamania. Okay, sorry I messed up. Okay, this three, Grudge Match, Taz versus Sabu, ECW, 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 uh, very legal, Abel, 13th, 97, the final battle. Tommy Dreamer versus Raven, ECW, wrestler, whatever, I cannot pronounce that damn word, June 6, 97, winner take all, handicap match, ladder match, Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Mr. McMahon and Shane O'Mac. I like to just say that, it's been a while since I said that word, King of the Ring, June 27, 99, I remember that match, it's on a Blu-ray somewhere, I forgot what, I think it's that ladder match number two. Cheap pop. Okay, WWE Championship match. Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Rock. Rebella. Um, November 3rd, 01. I am on duty somewhere in my room. Behind me. Oh, shoot. WWE Championship match. Kurt Angle versus Brock Lesnar. SummerSlam. August 24th, 03. Steel Cage match for the WWE Championship match. John Cena versus... The Hall of Famer, Radar Superstar Edge. October 2nd, 06, on Raw. Okay, Blu-ray exclusive. Okay, Shawn Michaels, tribute to The Undertaker. Rest in peace. SmackDown, um, March 27th, 09. I think that's the feud. Uh, when I had WrestleMania uh, 26, I think. I'm not really too sure. Probably not. Six man tag team match for the WWE Championship match. Triple H, Batista, Shane Oak versus Randy Orton, Cody Rhodes, and Ted DiBiase. Backlash, April 26, 09, WWE Championship match. CM Punk versus John Cena. Night of Champions, September 16th, 2012. What the hell did I put on? Instead of that match, why I did not put on the one Money in the Bank 2011 from Chicago? That was a better match, I think, but it really doesn't matter. That was still a good match on 2012. So that's all the match listings and all the good stuff. Now, if you want the countdown, just look on uh, the EDV News. So that's it. I'm drinking my brewski, Miller Lite, tastes great. Now, I'm not too sure if you notice, I rearrange all my DVDs. Now, I want to make this short and sweet. The first two rows 
our pay-per-views, and all of this on the bottom are documentaries. Hopefully, I did it correctly. One day, when I'm all said and done, I'll show you my room tour. I got this all done. I just got to rearrange other stuff. Now, I have some stuff on, on my uh, dresser. Some stuff. It had nothing to do with wrestling. I got to rearrange it. It took me forever um, yesterday. So, take care, Spike here, and thank you very much for watching. Now, if you're going to pick this up, let me know. If not, that's okay. I'm going to pick this up to add to my collection. Have a good one. Take care. Spike here from the champ is out of here. May 28th. That's when it comes out on DVD and Blu-ray in the United States. Bye-bye.